This news dropped 17 hours ago. Or, son of a bitch. It dropped this morning at like 6 a.m. or 7, but I was too tired to get out of bed and do something about it. And it seems Intel is responding to AMD faster than I originally perceived. I said this before in a previous tech video that the X299 was pushed up for AMD. Intel's Coffee Lake S six core desktop processor was leaked. The Core i5 without hyper threading, Coffee Lake four core and eight core thread embedded CPU details as well. But the one everybody really gives a shit about is the Coffee Lake desktop six core with Intel pushing ahead the launch of their next generation processor families in response to AMD's rise in processors, we're finally starting to get more info on Intel's mainstream high-end desktop CPU platforms. The new processor platforms are scheduled to launch sometime at mid-2017. First up, it's the high-end Skylake X and Cabulec X CPU families, which will range from 4, 6-core, 10-core, and 12-core SKUs. The mainstream desktop-oriented family will arrive after in the form of Coffee Lake S. This line will feature Intel's first six core mainstream processor. I was originally very, very excited about Coffee Lake X before Ryzen just came out and it's kind of like, okay, now there's a game changer. There's competition again. The Intel Coffee Lake chips were previously going to launch back in January 2018. As you know, I'm sure if you give a crap about tech, you knew that this is all being pushed up in response to Ryzen, which shows how much of a shit kicker it is. I mean, sure, there's a lot of Intel guys right now who will sit there and go, huh, 7700K is still better than everything Ryzen. And like, well, if that's the case, then uh, I don't know, why the fuck is Intel doing this? You know, let's not be brand loyal here. You should be loyal to your wallet. Intel's Coffee Lake chips that were previously going to launch in January 2018 CES, but recent AMD's Ryzen launches have pushed Intel to shake up their launch roadmap. Yeah, TikTok my cock. Oh! Oh! Sorry, I had a dice clay moment. The recent reports have suggested that the Coffee Lake chips can launch as early as August at Gamescom 2017. The new Coffee Lake chips will launch alongside the Z370 chipset based on the motherboards and will be followed up by the H370, B360, H310 chipsets at the end of 2017 or early 2018. The Coffee Lake uh, S6 core part could be a Core i5 processor. That's what all the hype is right now. But here's the kicker though. There's no hyper threading. It'll be up to 3.5 gigahertz clock speed in engineering sample, which means if it's an engineering sample, it's currently 3.5. Odds are the product released to the consumer could be as high as four. You know, they, sure the clock speeds will most likely get higher. I'd say they'd have to a little bit, probably not. I don't think Intel cares that much. I know Intel cares, but for them to put out a six core with no hyper threading, it's kind of weird. You're supposed to be combating AMD, not giving people who have somewhat of a brain more of a reason to go, maybe I'm going to get an AMD. Unless, like, you're dead set on Intel. The chip will feature 1.5 megabytes of L2 cache, 6 times 253 kilobytes, or however I can never say it correctly, and 9 megabytes of L3. How do we know that this is actually a copy leak processor? Well, it's quite easy to tell. First, the chip we are looking at is running a KB Lake S client platform. KB Lake S is a mainstream line which currently supports Skylake and KB Lake consumer processors. This is not the HEDT line which should have KB Lake X code name. Also, the high end 6 core Broadwell E features up to 20 megabytes of L3 cache, whereas to this processor has less, of ha has less than half of that. And that's another point. You know, like, isn't this supposed to be a step up? You know, I would think. But I'm guessing this is Intel's way of releasing a six core consumer grade, but gimping it, you know? So that way people who got like a 5820K don't feel too miffed about it. You know, I mean, I don't, like, it's weird. Cause you know Intel's gotta be shooting some sort of bullets. On one hand, yeah, they're gonna launch these new processors, Skylark X, so on and so forth. They're gonna have the X22, oh, sorry, the X, and the, two, the X299 bullshit, I hate these names. The X299, they're gonna drop that and it's supposed to be the big slap back at the Ryzen, right? But how are they gonna play this? Because if they drop the price to be competitive with Ryzen, then they're just gonna fucking piss everybody off who has, you know, the previous SKU chip sets that paid over a thousand dollars for their eight cores and so on. So what are they gonna do? 
they can't but they have to lower the price you can't get away of keeping the same price because if you do people are just gonna look at it and go screw this Ryzen screw it but if you lower the price then all the people who supported it before old screen you price gougers you piece of shit you rob me you rob me I'll stab you in the head I don't know man Intel's in a tough spot they're damned if they do and they're damned if they don't but really the six core coffee lake it's cool as a six core but no hyper threading and the L3 cache is kind of lame who are we kidding? It is lame compared to Ryzen. All right, I decided to check out the uh, 1600X, which is the six core Ryzen. Obviously, six core, 12 threads, uh, you know, like boom. And the contemporary, the Intel it has, six core, no threads, suck a dick, you faggot, we're Intel. Uh, L2 cache, three megabytes. L3 cache, 16 megabytes. It's double what this i5 is gonna be. I just don't know what they're thinking. I really don't. I know it's an i5. It's supposed to be like, you know, it's like the consumer end, you know, it's not like a high, it's not expensive i7, but still, how could you justify this? How could you release a chip that's still going to have less than what Ryzen has? Maybe the chip will still kick a lot of ass. You know, I can't deny Intel's always had very strong cores, but from the standpoint of, it's kind of like going to buy a car and one's an Alfa Romeo and the other one's a Jaguar. The Alfa Romeo, well, Alfa Romeo is probably a bad choice because as soon as you buy an Alfa Romeo, that thing loses values as soon as you get off the dealership lot. But let's just, you know, let's skip the car crap. And let's just say that the Alfa Romeo has twice the performance, twice the stability, twice the features, blah, 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 than the Jaguar. At this point, you're paying for the Jaguar because it's a Jaguar and you're skipping out an Alfa Romeo because it's an Alfa Romeo. Gundam, fuck off. Let's see, this also brings us to the next interesting detail uh, we are getting from this listing the specific six core coffee lake part was tested on a cabby lake s client system cabby lake s platform means that the chip was off of a 200 series pch based motherboard if true coffee lake would retain compatibility not only with the lg 1151 socket but also currently available motherboards i think it's going to be compatible with the 200 uh people say they want the 100 but I doubt Intel would do that for you. Uh, once again, it's Intel, but who knows, maybe they might surprise some people. While onboard partners of Intel will refresh their product stack with the new 300 series chipset, it is highly possible that they will still offer BIOS updates allowing compatibility with Coffee Lake chips on 200 series motherboards. This would allow users to very easily and affordably upgrade paths to newer six core chips, which would be a smart move on Intel's part, because I think Ryzen is gonna support AM4 for a long time. So let's say they come up with some new chips next year or in another two years. You just switch out the chip and you're good to go. So that's not a bad thing at all. Coffee Lake R, uh, let's see, i7 processor features four cores and eight threads, standard fare. Finally, we have the embedded chip base on the Coffee Lake architecture. This chip features four cores, eight threads, and a clock speed of 211 gigahertz, base clock of 190 gigahertz. This chip comes with eight megabytes of L3 cache and was tested on a Cabby Lake R client system, which refers to an embedded platform and specifications listed for the chip coming that the new processor will be branded under the core i7 family and come with an eighth generation naming scheme. So 8800K, 8700K, 8790, who the hell knows? Uh, I'm personally kind of over four cores, and I think, you know, the industry should move forward. I feel Intel should move forward because they have, like, had a stranglehold on eight cores or more at a super premium price for so long until Ryzen came. And I think that's really held back computers as a whole, in my opinion. Now, frankly, what this all boils down to is uh, we have another rebrand of Skylake. I mean, let's face it, Coffee Lake is just another rebrand of Skylake. Uh, let's break it like that. Too long, didn't read. I should have said that in the beginning of the video. I'm just kind of, I'm like, this This news leaked, and it's, it's cool that they're at least moving forward to more cores, but on the other hand, it feels meh. And I'm guessing the i7, that's going to be a six core, will probably be expensive as hell, and that one will actually be something worth checking out. But I'm 100% sure it'll be like the 5820K. Uh, that's going to do it for me. I can actually give more of a fuck than I do about anything. Rate, comment, subscribe, share me if you so choose. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, the whole nine yards. I've got a link everywhere. Go check them out. Or don't. You don't have to. I'm not going to beg you nor force you. Because I know that's annoying.
and the last thing I want to be is annoying, despite the sound of my voice. 